Welcome back to Just Got Played. This is your boy Jim Jam here, aka JJ, with another series for you. I was teasing it before, and uh, you know, in the unboxings and in the uh, how to video, I was gonna do a tier list. Well, here it is. This is the video. I went in, took pictures of all the uh, the characters from the main set. I'm gonna go start with the main set and probably go on to the expansion, depending how popular this is. I went in, and we're gonna do a tier list on Tier Maker. Uh, took the pictures of the characters, the starting with the heroes, and then we'll move on to the villains in another video, uh, front and back, because I feel like those characters, you know, those powers are completely different. Uh, so I want to rank them. Sometimes you don't even want to flip over to the power, the power ranger side. So that's how I feel. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below in the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share all those good things. Um, and then also join our discord and, uh, you know, feel free to comment on Twitter and Instagram and all that. Uh, I'm mostly on Discord on a daily basis. So if you want to debate anything I said, you, you know, you liked it, you didn't like it, let me know. Tell me what you think about the characters. Tell me what your favorite and least favorite characters are. Uh, so I want to go through probably, hopefully, most or if not all of the Hasbro licensed uh, deck building games, starting with Power Rangers, maybe do Transformers, and maybe I can team up with Lloyd. We can do some G.I. Joe if I ever <laughs> want to play that again. I got the, the base set and then a couple of others. Um, you might have heard in some other videos. I didn't like it as much because it is co-op, mm. but uh, we'll see. So if you like it, let us know. Uh, but here we go. All right, as you see here, we have our tier maker. I changed up the tiers. So usually it goes from rank S to rank D or G or whatever you want to make it. So I changed it up. So uh, I went in and took all all ele wait so there's five no six characters including tommy the green ranger and there was a promo which was the white ranger uh i don't know if anybody got got that or saw that but when you order usually any of the renegade game systems uh deck builders the hasbros they come with a promo most of the time it's new characters sometimes it's like a hollow version of the character cards which is i, I don't agree but whatever they started doing that with power rangers for some reason with the uh third set I think it was. Um, no, they had, did they have one? No, they started with the second set for some reason. Transformers, you get a promo. You you get a new character every time, at least one. Um, but for some reason, the Power Rangers, which I can you know go in the comments on that, they started doing hollow versions of the characters, which, as you saw in the unboxings, they look cool, but then, like, what do you do with the base, the original set? It's like, uh, no, I want a new character. Like, every team had, like, a special ranger that came along and, you know, did something. Let's be thematic, people. Um, but this is the video. You wanted to hear my comments and my opinions? Well, here it is. Um, so I'm going to go through. Uh, so let's start with, you know, um, Ranger number one, uh, Jason Lee Scott. Uh, so we're going to start there. I'm going to start with the teenager side um, first, and then we'll move over to the Power Ranger side, go through the colors, probably do like a little snake thing. So we'll start at the beginning, go to the end, and then start at the end and go to the beginning. I definitely wanted to point out the fact that the teenager side and the Power Rangers side are completely two completely different abilities as far as I'm concerned. Now, let's go over the generics about every character. We all know from the rules that I explained in the how-tos, we all watch that, right? Right? Okay. So when you fill up all the slots on your character, you get to flip your character over and you get to take your corresponding Zord off your Zord deck and put that into the Zord bay. So they all have that ability. Now, the differences are their triggered or ongoing ability. Most of the time, are they're triggered. Um, and then also the different slot that they have on them. Most characters have slots for two heroes on them. Not all of them. So that will play into my ranking as well. Because uh, you want to... Um, so here's the thing, because you have the heroes and the villains, so you can't attach villains to the hero characters, so you have to attack those. Um, but you have the heroes in the uh, grid to buy, and you can attach them usually. You can attach two. Um, and then there's some differences here. I don't know how I feel about that exactly. So you have the heroes. They will clog up the, uh, the grid uh, for your, the opposing team, the villains. Um, so that would be good. So I guess I could, I could give it points more for the characters that have less hero slots because if you're not buying the heroes, the villains have to attack them. Otherwise, they take damage. So that's pretty good. And then in the other case, you're buying up the uh, maneuvers and the technologies um, and putting them onto your character. That way you're taking because every villain um, 
has can either attach a maneuver or a technology onto their character. So you're not really um, slowing them down if you're buying a bunch of heroes. So I will give it to that. Uh, so with that said, let's start with Jason Lee Scott. Um, as I said, he has two slots for heroes, one slot at the top for technology and one on the bottom for maneuver. Um, do not forget, too, about your signature weapon. It's a very powerful card. It can go in any slot. So that will take up a slot as well. So when you look at it, you have to decide whether you want to uh, cover up one of your only card slots or a uh, a hero slot. So as I was saying before, heroes clogging up the grid uh, is a good thing for you for the most part because the villains have to take time to attack it. Um, you really don't want it unless you... You don't really don't want the hero unless you really need that ability. So otherwise, I would probably just leave it out there. Uh, so definitely put a signature weapon in one of the hero slots. Um, and then let's look at Jason Lee Scott's ability. When you play or attach a hero, deal one damage. So as I was saying before, um, you want to leave heroes in the grid. This is my personal opinion in general. This is a tactic because the base like objective of the game is to defeat the villains. So more damage you can do to them, the better. And then, you know, blocking their damage, is their, that's good too. So my thing is attack them first, block second. That's the bait. That's all you want to do. Be like getting cards. And um, unlike most deck builders, the cards that you have in your deck do not give you victory points because there's no victory points in this game. It's just attacking. So clogging up your deck with unnecessary stuff is not good. So I, I would buy good cards and then thin your deck out as much as possible. I try to keep my deck to... 10 at the most. Um, if I have more than 10 cards in there, it's it's not good. So as soon as I hit that 10 card, I'm looking to burn off the card. Luckily, in, in Power Rangers deck building game, you already have a card in your deck that will uh, get rid of cards out of your deck. So if, if I can just leave that as my only starter after like five rounds, then we're good. Um, so when you play or attach a hero, deal one damage. Um, he has two hero slots, so that's pretty good. But... Uh, like I said, getting a bunch of heroes in your deck just kind of clogs it up, and then it's, they're not out there attacking. So you're buying the heroes, and then um, originally I thought Jason was good. He had a good ability because you want to buy heroes, and then either playing or attaching them deals one damage for free. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, but now I'm thinking the hero, I mean, you're still going to, if you leave the hero on the grid, it's going to do one damage anyway. So it's kind of like a, uh, let's say decent for now. I give decent. Um, so as you can see, I changed it up. Uh, I said outrageous ability, pretty good. Decent is the okay. So that's like a an A or B. Um, and then eh, I kind of jumped here because this is like a B ability. This is more like a D ability. And then this is F. So um, eh. And then what were they thinking? Um, so I'm not. I'm trying not to take a dump on their abilities because um, I know the designers. You know they they try to make this game very thematic, and I appreciate that. But some of these abilities is just like, what were you thinking? Um, so that's what I have here. Uh, so being able to do a damage for free is good. Heroes do damage in the grid anyway to the villains. So it's like, meh. Um, yeah, so <sighs> I'm going to have to take this to an end. We'll see. All right, we'll leave it a decent for now. Uh, so that was Jason Lee Scott, teenager side. We're going to go through all the teenagers and then go over to the ranger side and then hopefully do another video for the villains if y'all enjoy this. Um, I'll at least do two. So we'll do the base set. Um, and I'm just going to go in uh, ranger order. Um, if you did, if you didn't know in Power Rangers, the rangers are numbered. Um, usually every season they do number the rangers. Um, the colors don't ever say the same, but most of us know their original lineup. You know, Jason was number one. And then, um, if you didn't know, Zach was number two. So we'll start with Zach. Um, Zach was number two, two or three. He might have been two or three. I should probably look that up. I think he was, he was, no, he might have been three. I think Billy was number two. I know Trini, Trini was four and then Kimberly was five. Uh, I believe so. Correct. Answer below. Uh, you know I'm saying I'm not trying to be 100% accurate. This is open for discussion. So if you feel any different, let me know. I, we'll just go with Zach as number two. All right. So we'll do Zach here. Uh, he too has two spaces for heroes and then two for technologies. No spaces for maneuvers. So in his case, if I had to buy a maneuver, I would try to buy something that, uh, has a high crystal and energy, um, uh, not ability, 
gives you gets you gets you high energy or high um, high crystals. Also has block. A lot of maneuvers have block um, the hand, as I said in the how to play. You can play those from your hand and block attacks. So other than that, I would not buy anything. I believe this game is very much about efficiency because, as I said, there's no victory points in the card. So why have it in your deck if it's just going to clog your deck up? That's not good. You want the high level cards um, coming through your deck, giving you a lot of uh, crystal power so you can buy your other zords and uh, and your signature weapon as soon as possible. You want that ASAP. So no maneuvers, just technologies. Technologies have a uh, block ability usually on them as well. Um, yeah, this is another one where I put the signature weapon in the hero spot because, like I said, you want to do damage, and heroes do damage in the grid to the villains. Um, so let's see. His ability, the first time you use an attached ability during each of your turns, attack target foe discards one card. So he's emptying cards out of your foes. Um, only one foe. So if, you have, if you're going against a team of two villains, you have to choose one, and they have a discard card. That's not bad. Um... So you have to use an attach ability during each of your turns. Now, here's the thing here. Um, when you're flipped over on your teenager side, you don't get the negative two energy discount for using attach ability. So I don't see this being super good because you want to flip over. If you have attached cards that are that have great abilities, you want that discount on the other side. Um, so it is a free one-time use attack, which discards cards. Um, but yeah, it's just, you're not going to be really using attached abilities. I mean, I don't, unless I really need to do an attack or it's like, just get rid of something. It is a free attack, which discards a card. There isn't too many cards in Power Rangers deck building Man that make your opponent discard a card. Um, so this is going to be, so we're just going to start off nice for the most part. As we start piling on characters onto this tier list, we will uh, um, probably change our rankings here a little bit. This is another decent ability. Hey, you know what? I'm going to make it eh. Because you're not going to be on this side very much. Using attached abilities on the teenager side is like a must. You you really just need to do something real quick. I mean, you might use a block. Block a big attack. That's about it. Um, so, yeah. And um, there's a lot of maneuvers that have really good attached abilities. You can't use them on Zach. So, not being able to use maneuvers... Um, kind of hurts him a little bit. So we'll go with Zach is going to be our first. Eh, he's an okay ability on that side. Um, all right, so we'll move on to Billy. Um, so this is interesting. This is the first character that has only one hero slot and two technology slots and a maneuver slot. Um, so he gets two technologies and a maneuver. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like I said, I would put this signature weapon in the hero slot. Just because, once again, heroes in the grid do damage to the villains. Um, and then his ability is when you negate an attack, draw a card. So every time, it doesn't even say attached. Just when you negate an, uh, an attack. So it could be an attached card or a card in hand that has a block sign on it. So obviously you want to grab cards out of the lineup as soon as, or the grid as soon as possible that have the block ability. Um, whether it has a hand or not. Because um, then he can, you get to draw a free card. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, so yeah, pretty good. We're gonna go right here. That's I mean pretty pretty plain and simple with a lot of these uh base characters on the um heroes and villains side. Uh just kind of gets you used to the game. Um so when you negate an attack, draw a card, and luckily they have only one hero slot because not a lot of heroes have block ability. Some do, you know, Blue Ranger has some, um has a block ability, but definitely more on the technology and the maneuver side. So yeah, if I were you, I would uh stick my signature weapon in the uh in the uh, hero slot, and uh, we, I might do a tier list with the signature weapons and the and the Zords and Masters. We'll see, depending on how much you always like this. I'll go as deep as you want me to do, um, and uh, <laughs> okay, I'll do a deep dive as much as you want me to. Um, so, I believe his sign Billy Cranston, the um, the uh, wow, what was his weapon? Oh my gosh, I'm having a blank. Oh, this is so bad. Axe. Oh, his staff. His uh, his staff um, um, does have a block ability, which is kind of strange. Um, but he is a Triceratops. Um, this is Zord. So as you know, most Triceratops turn into a shield for some reason. Um, so even, even though it was the mammoth that turned into the shield, the Megazord. 
Um, but anyways, blocking. He wants to negate. So yeah, I would have put that on Zach's ability because he had he took okay, whatever. Like I said, I'm not gonna take a dump on the theming anyways, so we'll keep it basic. Negating an attack, you wanna do that. As I said, that's your number two objective, first attack, and then block or negate an, an attack. So um just make sure you are picking blocks that do negate attacks. Some don't. Um, some just have like a block ability and you get to do something, but it has to specifically, specifically say negate an attack. You get to draw a card. Not a whole lot of drawing in this game. Uh, so being able to draw a card for free on your character is pretty good. Uh, uh, so we'll leave it at that. All right. Next we have Trini Kwan. Um, when you play or attach a maneuver, heal one HP. Uh, okay, so I said number one was attacking, number two is blocking, number three, definitely very close three. These top three things you want to do is get heals. Healing is very good as well. Uh, so being able to heal for free whenever you play or attach a maneuver is pretty good. So when you attach it or play it out of your hand, so you can swap it, you'll get an HP, and it's every time, not just a single ability. And as we see on her slot, she has two maneuvers available in the technology. Um, and then one for the hero slot. Once again, I would put the signature weapon in the hero slot. Uh, I can't remember what her signature weapon does, um, but it's probably healing as well. I think, it, yeah, it heals you. So, um, two slots for maneuvers, heal. I can't remember. I think healing was pretty much spread out. There wasn't a whole lot of cards I gave you just healing. Uh, and unfortunately, there is a very good, I think it's Ernie's Juice Bar that lets you heal. Um, I can't remember which location it was. Unfortunately, that, that is not um, an attachability. So you play it once. Uh, I don't think you can, I don't think that counts as playing because it has to be out of your hand to play. So you put it into play. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not a maneuver, obviously. Okay. That's why I said maneuver. Um, so yeah. Um, er, like, Ernie's Juice Bar is the one that's just good for everybody because anybody can buy a location and put it into play. Other than that, not a whole lot of healing in here uh, in Power Rangers deck building. So really hard to draw cards and really hard to heal. So anything that gives you a free heal is really good. Um, but it has to be a maneuver, which is annoying because if I'm playing against this person, I'm just going to buy all the maneuvers. Hopefully you got a good teammate if you're playing two player and they just give you a bunch of maneuvers um, to buy. And uh, hopefully you're not going against the villain in these maneuvers as well. Um, so kind of limiting there, um, but it is a free heal. So we'll put that in the decent slot. Where is Trini? Here's Trini. Um, because she does have two slots for maneuvers. I've never seen a three slot character that has three of all one type. I mean, they could have done that with Trini just because of her ability. Um, cause I, I wouldn't buy anything but maneuvers, but then you have that slot there. That's cause at least your signature weapon is any slot, but then you have just a slot here for Technology on the bottom, which is, hmm, that's okay. Uh, next, we have Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly, yeah, Kimberly. Um, and then she has, weirdly, they put it the hero slot on the top and the bottom instead of on the sides, like usual. But once again, no, no slots for, uh, oh, no, she's the opposite of Zach. I don't know why they changed it up. That's weird. Um, so they put the hero slots on the top and the bottom instead of the left and right, but left and right just for maneuvers. So no technologies with Kimberly, no point in getting technologies unless they have a block because you can use it from hand or they have high crystal costs. I would not buy it. Keep it simple, people. Just keep it simple. Um, so for every two start different starters you play during your turn, draw one card. Okay, so you're going to start the game very high. Um, she's going to get you extra draw. As I said, Power Rangers deck building game, not a whole lot of cards that let you draw. So giving the innate ability to draw at the beginning of the game is good because you're going to want to get rid of the starters. So for every two starters, um, as you know, there's four different types of starters because you watch the how to play, right? Right? Um, so hopefully you can draw two cards uh, very often at the beginning, but then you're going to want to start get rid getting rid of them. Usually I would get rid of... Uh, um, uh, the cards that have the least, uh, like least good cards, as you as I you know least good cards. Um, but in this case, you have uh, six copies of teamwork in there, giving you one energy. So just to keep it different starters, um, maximize the different starters. So you hopefully draw more card, at least two cards. 
Um, we'll draw two cards. Like there's only four different types of starters. Um, I would just get rid of teamwork. Um, if I had to get rid of cards first. Um, so obviously you're not going to use her, uh, her teenage ability towards the end of the game. So it's really good right off the bat, letting you draw. Um, but then Peter's off there once you start burning cards. Hopefully you're burning cards or, uh, getting rid of cards out of your deck, as they say. Um, so man, she's somewhere in between pretty good and decent because she's good at the beginning of the game and then it Peter's off. Uh, we'll do pretty good. If I had to choose a character, definitely would want to go with, uh, Kimberly. Um, because she does let you draw cards. So, yeah, Trini, if, it's, if it was more than just maneuvers, it would be good. So, yeah. She, uh, so, we got two, like, right in between pretty good and decent. Um, just because they limit you as the game progresses. But we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, and then we got my boy Tommy. Tommy Allen Oliver, first off, is the Green Ranger here. Um, so, Tommy Oliver, you know, started off as the Green Ranger, lost his powers, became the White Ranger. Luckily, we have both versions in this game. So, we'll start off with the Green Ranger version. Tommy Oliver, they're the same name. Um, one, he looks nice. So, I guess as a Green Ranger, he's nice. And then the other one, he looks mean um, for some reason, <laughs> as you see here. This is funny. Um, okay. So, one slot for hero, two slots for technologies, and one slot for maneuvers. Um, when you play an equipment, reveal the top card of your deck, discard it or leave it. Now I've been saying technologies, um, but they are equipments. Um, equipment technologies, you know, I think the technologies in Transformers is a deck building game. The great cards. I'm just going to see, keep saying technologies just because that's what they are. Um, but equipment, sure. Um, reveal the top card of your deck, discard it or leave it. So, uh, limited to equipment slash technologies, um, but it helps. Get rid of bad cards. Um, this is very uh, timey-wise here. And it has to be an equipment. It couldn't be just any card. It, specifically when you play. So not even activating an attached card. Um, oof, that, yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be one of... What were they thinking? Because uh, when you play an equipment... So why do you have two equipment slots or technology slots? And discard it or leave it. You can't even, you discard it, so you can't even get it out of your deck. That would be nice if they let you get it out of your deck, but they do not. Um, wow. Yeah. What were they thinking? I can't even say anything about that. Why would it not be an attached ability? Why, why not attached? I don't get it. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not going to dump on the people. What? I need a new, I need a new stamp. What were you thinking? Oh. All right, move, uh, all right, so moving on to Tommy Oliver, White Ranger version. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I wouldn't even... No, there's no... Why, mm, I wouldn't, wouldn't play with him. Uh, anyways. Okay, so Tommy Oliver, White Ranger. We're back to the heroes being on left and right instead of the top and the bottom, which is strange that they swap that. I have no idea. Um, leave the heroes in the, in the grid. Uh, if you have a choice, leave them in the grid. Um, but, uh, let's see here. You, you pay one less to buy cars from the grid with five plus. Okay. So five plus everything is one less. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so you get the higher cars for cheaper. So you can hopefully get the higher cars, um, pretty quickly, specifically from the grid. So you can use it for your signature weapon or your Zord. They specifically made that or, um, yeah, anything else that comes out other outside of the grid. Okay, so very good early, especially um, if you uh, don't flip them over pretty quickly. Uh, so that's that's not bad. Um, I can't think of too many cards that cost five or more in the grid um, that are better than your signature weapon. So if you have seven, I would just buy the signature weapon. Um, but yeah, five and sixes go, go nuts. Um, so he's pretty good, pretty good. So we have him at pretty good, huge difference between the other Tommy Oliver. I have no idea because it's any card. You can buy any card that's five or, left, five or higher. So any of your slots, hopefully you get a bunch of high cards that have, um, high crystal value. And then you're just buying all your other stuff before you have to flip them over. Um, 
buy your signature weapon. Uh, you, you get your Zord for free when you flip, but oh man, I would really want to buy a few Zords. Um, uh, you can't use you can't use his ability for Zords, but I mean, you could buy cards with high crystal to buy your Zords. Yeah, I don't know how how many you would how many you would buy. Uh, uh, this is interesting because you have good attach abilities on the cards. Um, being maneuvers as well. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know what the gameplay would be here. Because you have good attach abilities, um, but then you want the crystal, you can buy all the five plus cards have high crystal value and energy values too. So fill everything up, buy everything, and then start attaching cards to him. So yeah, you have that, that toss up there because you could buy some cards that have some high crystal and you just got a big old bank right off the start here if you get very lucky. Um, so yeah. Uh, nothing outrageous, uh, so far on the teenager side. So we'll put that down. That, that takes care of the teenager side. Um, three pretty good. These are the ones down here. I would just, no, 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 no. That'd be so bad. So bad. Yeah. Anything below, ugh, if I had one of those, so would not want to play the game. If I had a choice, it would be, oh God, I could make it work, but yeah, this is. Oof, yeah, these abilities. Okay, okay. So, um, as I said, we will snake. Um, so, we'll start with Tommy Oliver, White Ranger. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so, do I want to change anybody up so far before we go on to the Power Ranger side? I don't think so. There's nothing outrageous. I mean, even that ability is pretty good. Negating attack, any attack, draw a card, that's pretty good. Nothing is outrageous yet. Nothing is, you know, first of all, we want to attack. Nobody has a base attack except for... I'm not even going to count Zach. That's the horrible... His atta the attack part is actually pretty good. Making your opponent discard a card. The triggering of it is horrible. Um, so, and nothing's letting us block for free. No attacks for free for damage and no blocks for free. So, as far as I'm concerned, that makes it outrageous. Uh, if Trini lets you heal with other just, just maneuvers, I mean, you can play her and attach a maneuver. She has two slots for it. Uh... Uh, it's, and it's only one HP. So, mm, yeah, that makes her no. Nobody's outrageous. So I'm gonna stick with that. Let's move on to the Power Rangers. Uh, okay, so we have Mighty Morphin White, as we know, one of the best characters out there. Debate me on it. Um, so obviously, when you fill all four slots, you get to get your Zord in the Zord Bay. So at this point, you should have at least one Zord in the Zord Bay. Um, and then you get minus two for activating attached cards. Once again, you cannot use that minus two for the character ability. So his ability is, and it's the same on both sides as far as what cards you can attach. I've not seen anybody yet that changes once you flip it over. Uh, and, but his attack for five energy, deal two damage for each card with cost five plus attached to your character. Okay, so you have four slots. How much damage can you do? Or <laughs> four? Two times four is eight. So hopefully. You bought some cards that make paying five energy worth it. Five for eight is really good in the in the Power Rangers deck building game because you only get thirty health. So you hit your opponent, you know, twice. You do sixteen. That's more than half. So hopefully you got them down in the twenties, and you find, you know you you do eight eight attack. And you, hopefully they're in the single digits. Um, uh, yeah. It only takes two times, so hopefully they're... Yeah, okay. Hopefully they didn't block it. This is a lot of damage to take. Um, let's see here. Now you just got to get five plus cards attached. Um, I don't remember what the breakdown was, but there aren't a lot of five plus cards in the game, and usually, especially if people aren't buying, you're not going to be able to cycle through. That's another downfall of Power Rangers deck building game. There's no way to wipe the whole grid and then start all over with new cards. Um, there are some cards that do it. Uh, the equipment slash technology. Heck. Um, because you have Radbug in there. That's not an equipment. That's a car. So it's a technology. Um, so hopefully you get all slots filled up with five plus, And then, you know, you can swap them out. Uh, so being able to do eight damage potentially for five is not too bad. Um, so we'll put that in the pretty good. Uh, so Tommy Oliver on both sides. Really good ability. Abilities. Obviously, because he's a White Ranger, the evolved version of himself. Uh, so we'll put that over here. And then we'll... Bleh, bleh. 
Green Ranger was my favorite character. And what did they do to Tommy? Gave him a crap ability. Um, but we'll look on this side. Okay, we flipped over. We have the Dragon Zord in the Zord Bay. Um, we get negative two on the attached cards, but for four energy and attack, deal three damage for each equipment attached to your character. There's only two slots. There's only two slots for equipment. You're going to do six. We just talked about five for eight. It's one energy less, two. All right, fine. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good ability. You're doing hopefully six damage and it's any, any equipment slash technology. We put a rad bug as an equipment. I don't understand. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Get rid of his teenager side and just flip him as quick as possible and have, make sure you have two equipment on him. For the love of God, do not pay four for three damage. That is horrible. Do not do that. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, so do six damage for four. Done. Why his other side is that, I don't even know. Okay. So we have Mighty Morphin Pink now. Um, flipped over, we got the Pterodactyl and the Zord Bay, uh, four attack, deal two damage for each different starter you control. Oh, God. We're just gonna put that there. If you have starters, when you flip her over, pr just pray that you win. Just, just, Jesus, take the wheel. Uh, <laughs> can't even, why would you have starters? By the time you flip, I mean, um, this happened, okay, but you have a card that gets rid of cards out of your... Start with teamwork. That's my strategy. Tip. Start with teamwork and, you know, hopefully by the time you get rid of your last teamwork, you still have the other... I don't... Uh, and it's starter you control. So, control cards are uh, your play area, your attached cards... And, and, yeah. Oh, why would you have started? Ooh, I'm saying it could happen. It could happen. But what were they thinking? Oh, and it's you control. So the cards in your discard pile don't count. Oof. They could have at least made a discard pile. Oh, wow. Wow. And I've played this game a few times and just... It's just each starter, different started. Not even starters. Just st oh, if you're paying four for two damage. Oh, oh. Why couldn't it just be starter cards? Oh, wow. Okay, anyways, moving on. Mighty Morphin Yellow. Uh, all right. So you have the Sabertooth and the Zord Bay. And you're dealing four attack. Deal two damage. Boom. Deal two damage. Four to four. Um... Paying double for two damage is meh. If you have no damage, I mean, at least you're doing damage. Guaranteed two damage. And then plus two damage for every 10 HP you have. So, as I said in the how-to, because you watched it, you start with 30. Um, so you get two plus for every 10 you have. So potentially you could do six plus. So that's eight damage for four. Um, as we saw with uh, the White Ranger, you could do four. you could do five for eight. So if you're doing four for eight, you're doing good. Um, four for six is still pretty good. So hopefully you got at least 20 HP. Um, four for four, that's evening out. Uh, then of course, four for two. Mm. Uh, it, it would really depend if I just need to kill somebody off real quick. Um, just put it that way. So towards the end of the game, um, not so good. So hopefully you've, you've healed with her other side, what HP. Um, and then you got more heal cards. So hopefully you're above 10. At least so you're doing four for four, which is not too bad. There are better cards that give you better. I mean, you get minus two if you activate an attached card. And there are some six damage cards out there. Um, so uh, I think she's going to go right here with her decent um, side. Her, I mean, her uh, teenager side right here in decent right next to each other. Because uh, it just depends if you can get heal cards. Um, so that's a big timing thing. Uh, yeah. Four for two. Let's just say it's four for two. So that's all right if you have no other attacks. Um, all right. Yeah, that was... Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go to Mighty Morphin Blue. Um, you have Triceratops in the Zord Bay. You attack three. Attack, deal two damage. That's already better than Trini. Like, what are we doing? All right, we're going to put this right here. <laughs> I'm not even going to go through the rest. This one less, you're still doing two. 
And then plus one damage for each block you control. So this is control. You can, as I said before, there are block cards, especially on the equipment slash technologies and the maneuvers. Um, so, and I believe his signature weapon has a block ability as well. So that's, you know, and that's every card you control. So that's the attach cards and your, all right, you know what? We got our first outrageous people. The very first outrageous character. Oh God, we're moving all over the place. Ah, that's a good ability. It's priest card you control. Why? Eat block plus one damage. So there's four slots. That's six. Plus every card I control. It could be like seven, eight, nine, ten. It's limitless if you have draw cards. Oh, geez. And it's only three. Why would they? They're assuming you have more. What are they? Oh, God. All right. So the standout right now is blue because uh, Billy on his. Um, it's pretty good on his teenager side, and then he's just outrageous. That's outrageous, you know? You could be up to 10 damage at, at, for three. For three! What? How? Look at this. This is why I want to do the tier list. Look at this! This is so ridiculous. All right, so we have Mighty Morphin Black. Last two here. Um, all right, you got the Mammoth and the Zorbe, and you attack for four. Energy, target vote, discard one random card, and takes damage equal to its cost. So, once again... We go back up to four. Um, there aren't a lot of one cost cards, so hopefully you're at least doing two. So we're back to Trini again. Um, and they're discarding a random card. Um, so yes, black definitely has to go over yellow just because of that. You're discarding and you're doing damage at the same time. Good Lord Almighty, flip them over as fast as you can. Um, you're paying for it, this ability instead of it's one time because it's just one time you get it for free on the other side. But then... You have to pay for, you're removing a random card, and they take damage equal to its cost. Hopefully, you got something that's at least a three. There are a lot of twos, and um, there's no starters, so I would probably wait to flip them over, or at least pay for this ability. Uh, as far as I know, the Mammoth is pretty good. Um, more discarding. Um, signature weapon, axe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, so pretty good. Hopefully, four for two, you know, that's guaranteed in other people. Hopefully you're, you ooh, you don't hit a starter, which would be bad. Um, yeah, so then it's four for zero. You're at least discarding a card as well. So you're paying for it to discard a card. That's guaranteed. Um, so that's still pretty good. Because then if you, you know, if you just, it comes down to luck there. Um, so it could be four for zero. This is another one that's in between pretty good and decent. Um, we'll leave it pretty good. We're going to assume you're doing it. When your opponent has gotten rid of a lot of their starters, hopefully, and then you hit a card that they need, hopefully a high card or something, and uh, hit them for a lot of damage. Four, four for two is not too bad after having discarded a card. Um, okay. All right. Mighty Morphin Red. You got the Triceratops in the Zorbe. You pay four energy, you attack. Deal three damage for each hero attached to your character. You only have two slots. Once again, this is another one. You only have two slots. And it says attached to your character. Why would it not be control? Oh, my God. What are they doing? That's four for six. Four for six. Oh, God. We'll leave it here. Fine. Fine. Okay. That's it. Oh. So, we got one outrageous. Blue. And it's pretty good. Billy, so ability, ability, ability. Billia is the standout character coming up. With, um, white is next. And then I don't even know who after that. So I would hopefully have uh, Billy or Tommy, Tommy Oliver, White Ranger. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we got one. So as far as the tier, tier list, let me know what you think. Um, if you want me to do more, I'm definitely going to do the villains as well because I might as well just play this up the base set. Um, so that's going to be next. Uh, let me know what you uh, think of the, the criteria I placed on all the character abilities and their slots. Um, let me know. Check it out in the... Come come catch me in the Discord. There's Jim Jam in there as well. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, this is it. Uh, one outrageous... I mean, ability is just so good, and his other side's already pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, everywhere else kind of sucks. <laughs> no, they don't suck. They're all they're they're useful in their ways. Um, having played this game enough, I know that you can make all the characters work. It is possible. Um, but yeah, some of them is yeesh. yeah, especially the ones in what were you thinking? It's like what kind? Of, why would you? Why would you even? Why? 
Um, and then, of course, the debate between control and attached. Like, why wouldn't you just make it control instead of attached? Um, they did not put that on Power Ridge or Mighty Morphin Blue. For some reason, it's every card you control um, instead of just attached. So they just wanted to limit. I don't I mean, there aren't a lot of block cards in the game. And they usually get bought up if they end up in the grid. Um, luckily, his signature weapon has a block ability, too. So, you know, do what you will with that information. They must have not thought that they limited the number, number of block cards, but you want the block cards, so you're going to have those. Everything else makes you think. It's like equipment. Is it a good equipment or a bad equipment? You know, if it's low, enter, low crystal benefit, low energy benefit, and then the effect is kind of eh. You're not going to get it. At least with that, it's all blocks. You want a block card. And there's pretty much all the negate and attack. Okay, we can go keep going on this. But anyway, like I said, this is Jim Jam. Just got played. Catch me next time as I do the villains. And then we'll see from there. Um, could do the signature weapons as well if I really wanted to. Because those are pretty good too. Uh, that changes up, you know, which character I want. I take that all into account when I pick a character. Um, but... Having a block and a signature weapon that just takes care of one block right there has a hand size. So I can use it out of my hand or attached. So if it gets removed, I don't really care because then it ends up in my hand and then I can play for crystals or block. Yada, yada, yada. Um, check us out. Comment below. Like, subscribe, share. As I said at the beginning of the video, come join the Discord. Come join the Discord. Come join the Discord. And then check us out on Twitter and the Instagrams. Um, for now, oh, Facebook too. I forgot about Facebook. I have so many social medias. I forgot about Facebook. Comment there too. Let me know what you think. This is Jim Jam. Just got played. Catch you next time. Bye.